for years, researchers have pointed to phytoplankton as one of the planet's most valuable resources. They form the basis of the marine food chain and provide half the ocean's oxygen. However, over the next decades, climate change induced changes to the ocean will no doubt negatively affect the phytoplankton. Literature suggests that a reduced salinity as a consequence to climate change in Costafjord will lead to a decrease in certain phytoplankton groups and an increase in others. And this is what we investigated. Let's see what we found. To start with, we collect phytoplankton samples from two sites around the Jarn archipelago. One close to the coast near Sven Wolfen Center and another outside the Jarn using a phytoplankton net. We also measure the abiotic factors at each site, such as temperature, salinity, and turbidity. Next, we culture the sample phytoplankton in the lab with different salinity treatments so as to simulate a drastic salinity change that could be observed in the next few decades. We incubated the sample for three days. Further, we assessed the diversity of phytoplankton with the help of an inverted microscope with a magnification of 20. We identified the various dinoflagellates and diatoms present in the sample each day. So, what did we eventually find in our experiment? Well, we actually find that the dinoflagellates in location 2 are more tolerant to salinity increases because, look at here, when we increase actually the salinity to high and to medium values, they actually increase the density as well, while all the other ones, as you can see, decreased. In fact, I uh, read in the literature that uh, dinoflagellates that are more tolerant to salinity changes. Well, it seems like it's because in location 2 we have a gradient in salinity, so maybe the, the dinoflagellates are actually more used to salinity variations, while in location 1 the salinity is stable. But anyway, we lost the controls and uh, we are not phytoplankton taxonomists, so better luck next time, maybe next year. Two words, friendship and teamwork. I learned a number of skills that I can use in the future and I like the fact that each of us adds something to add to the experience. <laughs> I appreciate our interesting and intense discussions, no matter how strong they get, and sometimes really long. Obrigada. Tanyavad. Gracias. Obrigado. Grazie. Thank you. Ah, and by the way, I also taught people how to play cards. Thank yeah. you for watching. <laughs>